Hello! I'm starting a new LP here. Just let you know. I'll hit the unpause button here and you'll get to see what it is. It's another Mario game. Judging by the opening credits, you might be able to guess what it is. Done by Intelligent Systems. Graphical glitch here. It's really weird how it does that. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky. Way above the clouds. It's like I'm scratching my nose. It said that there's a haven where heaven where the stars live. Sorry, it's my headset. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod. No, not the Kirby one. Which has the power to grant all wishes. Who thinks one of your star are the seven spirits, blah blah blah, watched over our peaceful world and granted wishes. Carefully, very carefully. And then, who's that taped on? Oh dear, what the? We stuck this weird thing into the story. Gwa ha 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 ha! So lost! At long last, I can beat my arch nemesis, Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa. You Thunderbolt! Ah, uh, graphical glitch. No! You mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it. Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! Yes, there will be graphical glitches like that. It's kind of because this is an emulator. Like, again, I actually own this game on cartridge. That was a piece of cake. Gwahaha! That's a very shitty Bowser voice. I gotta work on what I'm gonna do for him. Now Star Kids rise and help, blah blah blah. But those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? I'm sorry, I wasn't fast enough. I was drinking water. You can pause the video to see what it was. Paper Mario! This, I think, was probably the first game I ever beat all the way through. Now, this is a semi-blind run. I've beaten the game before. I was a little kid then. You got Gumbario, the shittiest party member in the game. So yeah, this is a lot like Super Mario uh, RPG. Par uh, power Carry, uh, he's good if you know how to use him. Bombat. Way better than Balbury. Cooper. Cooper is okay when you get him. He kind of gets shitty. That's very so easy. I love grinding there. Sushi? Yes, that is a bad pun, Sushi. <laughs> they named the fish Sushi. What's her name again? Bitch Slap Lady. She bitch slaps enemies. She's nice. Mario going through pipes. Oh, graphical glitches. You're going to get these periodically. It's a little plug-in issue. I can't fix it. Boom! Headshot! So yeah, this entire first part is just going to be the intro. This train. Watching the train cutscene is kind of interesting. When you first go on it. I swear that tree back there, if you look back, kind of looks like a tree from Super Paper Mario. That map is the map from the sequel to this game. Psh, 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 psh. I'm glad you could kill the crap out of Shy Guys. Yes, you play as Peach in parts, and she just walked through his flashlight. How did that not alert? I've played that part of the game. As Chuck Conroy would say, Solid Peach! But Bella! I think I had that as a toy when I was a kid. No, that was a different guy. I wish I could make bridges like that, just hit a switch and a bridge appears. As you can see, the graphics are pretty meh for a Nintendo 64 game. But we're just going to be getting into the beginning. See, there's no files here. On my N64 version, like the actual cartridge, 
I've got all four files filled with two practice files, my main everyday file and my friends file. <sighs> Which one? It's so hard to choose. I'm going to go with an Alchemic Prime and go for three. Now, I'm going to go for my Fox's name rather than my own, because if I wanted to put my own, I could just pull a Chuck of Connery. Just put in my own name. But, that doesn't appeal to me. Yes, my name is Mark Len. Mark Len. Like, Mark Len. Like, you take the name Mark, as in, hey Mark, and then the name Lynn. Like, Linda. Mark Lynn. It's not Chinese. It's, it's Welsh. I could pull... Here's what I'm playing on. Where's... But there's no accent, so it doesn't really... No, go back there. So, I'm gonna pull a Nintendo Capri Sun and just put in... my thing there. Also, I became aware that there's somebody, he, his YouTube name is not GamerFox, but he calls himself GamerFox. And, uh, like in his videos, he calls himself GamerFox. He's got a couple of videos. So, sorry, I hope you don't mind me being GamerFox9. <laughs> but you really didn't take the name as for profile, like, channel, so I guess it really is open for me. But GamerFox9, and... This is just the opening here. I wanted to put the opening in a separate video. So, we'll get going into the prologue. Hope you're okay with the corners on the screen. I've also set to mono, not stereo. Because my headset does has only one side, so if I set it to stereo, I'm going to hear everything that's coming from the right. And nothing that's coming from the left. Hey Mario, we got the letter from Princess Beach. Don't, uh, well, kind of sounds like Borat, the way I say it. I'll read it to you, okay? No! As Chuck Corner says, I'll read my own mail. No, I forgot Mario's illiterate. Alright, let's see. Pretty music. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I'd be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. So, she wants... She wants a little kid playing the game to come over and meet many interesting people. There will be many tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you there soon. So, she's bribing the little kids playing this game to come to, come to her house all alone. So she can, you can meet people from all over the world and get candy and fun. Uh, she, she obviously has no ulterior motives here. Look in the window very closely; you can see a bear. <laughs> I like this music. This game has great soundtrack. Ah, drinking water. This is the main town of the area, the hub area, I'll call it. Walking through Toad Town. And, yeah, that gate there ain't, doesn't require eight stars to open if you played into the Nintendo 64 game, Super Mario 64. You get into the castle and you're just thrown in. What the magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. Look at lots of guests are already here. And this castle looks nothing like the one from Super Mario 64. At least they could have done that to keep a continuity thing. So you just get thrown right in. I, I was waiting for the cutscene to end there. But you can press Z and you spin. Later on you get an ability that allows you to make enemies dizzy by spinning into them. And one, one that makes you spin faster and go farther. Which is really useful for getting around, so you might see me doing this, but it can get a bit annoying. Let's talk to the guests here. I want to save going into the rest of the prologue for another video. Welcome, Mario! 
The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. I think Princess Bear, I mean Peach, has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hee <laughs> hee, how cute. M mario you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? I, I'm not doing a voice like Toad. Finish! <laughs> wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I bet you could hear some story about places you've never been to, huh? Mario's been all over the friggin' world! These people are from one of the other villages, I think, but... I don't see people from all over the world. I see, like... Three people from other country, like from other parts, and they're from the same chapter. Well, I'm finishing it off here in this room, but in the next episode we'll get be getting into the prologue. Really, I just consider this to be the opening of the game. Yes, and it comes down. HP. I'm using my mouse here. HP is, of course, health. FP is what you use to make do moves. This is uh, star points. You get star points for eating, beating enemies. The amount of star points you get from an enemy depends on what level you are and how hard they are to kill. Coins actually serve a purpose in this game because they're currency. You can pick it up from enemies and from blocks and stuff, so... Very basic. Yeah, the battle system in this game is extremely watered down, but extremely fun. Piccolo Agent Nose. Oh, he's e he's eating it! He just ate it! You want some? There you go. Eat eat the bugger! Eat the bugger! Okay, that's enough. You want some? Text box? Screw you, I'll make you despair. Ha! Hey! No coming back! Hey, 